Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I kind of wanted to make a video before I finish this build. I just want to tell you my favorite ESC uh, that I've tested and I've seen and I've loved so far and I've actually gone ahead and purchased like a ton load um, just because I freaking love them so much and they are the DYS Aria 35 amp ESCs. I don't know why I feel they're so good. 5S, they flew beautiful. I was so sad to remove them off my ESC testing quad because it was just absolutely phenomenal. And I kind of wanted to make a duplicate build of that build. Um, but, you know, I, uh, there's no need really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on this build. And this build is going to be coming up next. This is from iFly. It's called the Dragon Teeth. This frame was provided to me by iFly. And it looks pretty sick. It's going to be pretty damn heavy. But it's pretty cool, it has some 3D printed parts. But another thing I really like about this, well, I don't know how it flies just yet, but hopefully it'll fly good, and we'll know that as time goes on. It's pretty thick, pretty heavy, so it's a freestyle frame. It has a lot of nice little features here and there, and I'll get into that later on. And it's somewhat kind of waterproofing in a way. So this would be pretty awesome for some kind of waterproof build. And um, this is why I chose this for this build. So it's gonna be pretty cool, pretty insane. Now, hmm, the motors. These motors, I've tested them, but you guys haven't heard anything about them. Why? Because I wasn't recording, I was doing test flights, and I completely destroyed the quad into a trillion pieces. However, the motors survived, which is very good. The re these motors were not like any motor I've ever flown before. Um, I don't know why, it's just, it's very noticeable. But I didn't want to come back and tell you this right away because I want to put them on a heavier build. That one was a pretty light build. Not a super light build, but it was a pretty light build. So this is, you know, I don't know. I, I, it's too early to say, but holy crap, when I used them, they were just fucking insane. Really, I'm sorry for my language. They were absolutely ridiculously crazy. When I went back to like a F80 or F60 motors, the new ones or the F40s, uh, and the Emacs 2306, Nothing, nothing felt like this. And I was actually crashing the other ones because I got so used to these. It was just insane. I, I, I can't, I really can't explain it. Um, maybe it was just a beautiful setup. It was a perfect setup. I don't know, but that quad just got destroyed. So, yeah. Um, I'm waiting on the carbon, full carbon version of that quad. I don't think I'll be getting it anytime soon. But anyways, we're going to just stick this on a heavy quad and double check this thing here. I can do thrust and... and and uh torque test but um a lot of people do that and it's really not consistent depending on the power supply people are using and what to measure torque and what to measure thrust and nobody's measuring torque but i can measure torque here if i wanted to um but you know just the feel of these motors i don't know something about them was just ridiculous it was crazy and look they're super smooth huh very smooth you can't feel the notches but very lightly so maybe Sunny Sky is doing somewhat good, but I know their bearings always used to be bad, so I don't know what to say here. Um, yeah, these were just insane when I used them, but you know, don't take my word for it just yet. Let us build this guy and take him out and double check these motors. So yeah, and also just, well, since we're talking about this frame, might as well just go into the details. I'm going to be using this guy here, and this is the Maytech uh, PDB VTX. It's going to be pretty cool. It does have current sensing, and um, yeah, it's going to keep the quad very clean here. And also, I'm going to be using the uh, FR Sky F4 processor with the XSR receiver built in. Imagine that. That's it. We're done. ESC motor. Done, obviously. Camera. But that's it. You're done. It's just that simple. So this is a very clean setup. Um, I was planning on keeping these for a light setup, but I changed my mind. And uh, that usually happens with me. But these ESCs, I would definitely... 1000 trillion percent recommend these because man i just plug it and fly plug in fly plug in fly plug in fly you know it's just i mean a lot of escs do it also but i mean i didn't have weird like sometimes listen sometimes it's pretty crazy sometimes you could be flying next pack you have noise and then another pack you have no noise and then one pack you have a little bit of noise and then the rest of the day you have no noise it's just very strange i find it just weird um happened to me a couple times but i really didn't dig down deep to figure out what was going on but um yeah but these were just uh, beautiful okay enough loving these escs moving to the side well i mean i just wanted to share my thoughts kind of like a vlog kind of thing and um i just really wanted to tell you about that and i really want to tell you guys about this 
And I guess we might, since we were here and I'm about to build this guy, um, just tell you what's coming up next. And, well, that's going to include it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was nothing useful or anything, but um, I really do highly recommend these ESCs. Uh, they are very good for so far in my testing, and I have picked up a couple more because I love them. Uh, not for testing, but I love them. Uh, if I needed to build a reliable testing quad for some other specific thing, jumping on those guys right away because I know how those perform, and I'm totally satisfied and totally happy with them. And they have all the features you want, and they're good. I mean, DOIs have failed us in the past with a couple things, but uh, sometimes you do come up with some very nice things, so I really do like these. And, well, that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.